Hello, and welcome to a game room update. It's been a year since I've done one of these, and I felt enough had changed in the room to warrant doing another one. Uh, it's still pretty messy. It isn't the ideal space for a games collection. It's actually a back room in my parents' place. Uh, all my games are still here since I moved out, pretty much. But, you know, I've got a few things in Denmark. But as you can see here, this, this corner is their uh, sort of household stuff. And I mean, actually, my DVD collection as it was when I moved out, pretty much. Uh, and over here is the, is the games room. Um, but uh, I'd say it's the games corner, because it's actually only the corner of the room around here. It's all about video games. So if you've seen one of these uh, videos before, not much has changed in the general layout. This is still a bit of a mess in the corner. Now 3DS games, empty game boxes are stacked up there. I much prefer those small little cases you can get for multiple 3DS carts. Uh, so, but I'm not going to chuck away the boxes, of course, so they stack up there. And of course you can get better storage for Game Boy games, so they stack up there. And yeah, and PS2 games seem to stack up here, and also in this cupboard somewhat, I think. Um, yeah, so that's my Xbox in there, kind of trapped between Dreamcast games. Uh, this one doesn't work very well, the disc tray is a bit dodgy, so uh, I've since got a green one, which you might have seen in one of my Paris pickup videos, but I've not kind of installed it into the setup because this is very temporary still. Until I do move out to a place in the UK at some point in the future, then these things will be coming with me. So yeah, you've got some extra bits in here, some NES games, some Super Nintendo games. These are Super Famicom actually, and, and these are just NES, 3DO, Saturn games are sort of littered around where they can fit, really. Same with Dreamcast games. And there's, I think there's Wii games behind those Dreamcast games as well. The CDA, oh, the CDI games pile is stacking up nicely here with a few recent additions underneath Terry's backside here. Uh, such as the fantastic light gun game, Who Shot Johnny Rock. Uh, I won't say this is fantastic, it's the uh, Palm Springs Open Golf Game with, uh, what's it, it boasts to be the first golf game with uh, real golfers, digitised characters. I thought that could be a laugh, really, and it was incredibly cheap. Labyrinth of Crete was a game I've been interested in for quite some time, it's a, uh, a puzzle game. And International Tennis Open, uh, I thought it was a good way to try some two-player on the CDI. So, they're the recent CDI editions. Just place them back on there. Put Terry on top. Oh, Terry, he doesn't seem very happy. Uh, here's a new uh, Game Gear, underneath this Lemmings card. Or is it a new Game Gear? It's my old Game Gear, sorry. This is the one with the screen, it doesn't work properly. Uh, it just sits up here because it's kind of useless until I've fixed it but what I did do was I did buy a new game gear which is sort of it's tucked away in here in this really cool game gear case. I'm gonna pull this out so you can see it. I mean it's pulling out my old Game Boy Colour case which I found recently to put my Game Boy Colour back in to and yes this game gear case which is cool it's got a place in the front for games. Unfortunately this one uh, the sound doesn't work on this one. Uh, so Again, I've not got a working Game Gear. One day, I hope that perhaps I'll um, be able to combine both of them to create uh, the ultimate working Game Gear. Anyway, back over here to a couple of new Mass System editions. I recently picked up the Mass System Light Phaser. As you can see here, this is in my light gun basket. This whole basket is full of light guns of various systems. I've got a video on all those light guns on the Blast Process channel. Uh, guitars for Guitar Hero. It's the Beatles one. One of the Beatles guitars. Rambo 3 is great. I'd recommend if you get a light gun for the Mass System, pick up Rambo 3 with it because it's really good. Laser Ghost. Yeah, I'm not so keen on this game. Uh, this game 
was part of the bundle of the light with the light gun. And this, you can't sort of aim around. You can't even seem to be able to shoot above the. You can protect this little girl. You can't even seem to shoot above her head. So you just have to pull the trigger. Now I may be missing something, but it doesn't seem like the most fun game. Let me know in the comments if uh, I'm not playing that correctly. But it just just seems a little bit dull. Uh, this is a really nice gift of uh, my friend Mel. She got us this uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, flask. That's cool. There's a stack of Famicom games. Finally got Sonic CD. It's on there on the top of the pile because it's probably the best game on the Mega CD. Uh, Sonic games. Yeah, yeah. Sonic and Knuckles. I got that recently as well. That's in one of the pickup videos. Very happy to finally have a box copy of Sonic and Knuckles. Something that's tucked away behind it. Oh, it's uh, SNK versus Capcom. Or Capcom versus SNK there for the uh, Neo Geo Pocket. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is Time Killers. It's a fighting game for the Mega Drive or Genesis. This is the American version of the game. And 20 quid, it was quite good for a, quite a rare uh, fighting game. Uh, for the Mega Drive, so uh, this is quite gruesome, uh, comedically, so, comedically so. So that's a that's a fun game to have. Then it's not as bad as you might think it could be. And I think there's a few more new Mega Drive games up here. I uh, probably since my last video, I've added the Double Dragon Five. In there, which is the one on one fighter, Dragon Fury, Red Game 3, Double Clutch, and NBA Jam, which I picked up in Denmark from a nice shop in Aarhus called uh, Epic Panda. Uh, I don't think there's too much new here. This has become the uh, home of Game Gear games uh, Sonic 2, Sonic Chaos, Lemmings, kind of hand picking, cherry picking, should I say, Game Gear games. Uh, I know. Both Psych 2 and Sonic Chaos are great games from the mass, my time with the Mass System versions. And of course I collect Lemmings games. And the Game Gear version of Lemmings is a good one. Here I've put all my Xbox 360 games minus I think the 4 or 5 I've got in Denmark at the moment. Which are backwards compatible with Xbox One. So yes, it's the 360 games. So they've now found their place there. Yeah. A bit of uh, Shin Shinobi Den, which I was just going to have a bit of a bash on. There, so this is a new uh, Japanese Saturn pickup I got recently. Uh, the uh, European copy costs quite a bit nowadays, whereas the uh, the Japanese one is uh, slightly more affordable. That's a uh, good classic sort of Shinobi game, uh, similar to Revenge of Shinobi, but with digitized sprites. Uh, looks funny. It's like it also has a sense of humour, you know, as evident in this live action cutscene at the beginning of the game. Uh, but yeah, there's the uh, Saturn. This is a uh, PAL Saturn with a action replay enabling to play imports on it. Previously I had and still do have a Japanese Saturn, a grey one, which I don't tend to use anymore now because this seems to be able to do everything but it's in a box somewhere. My 360 sits underneath that, seems to be fine way using it at the moment. CDI down there uh, it's a multi-region DVD player, and there's a PS2 with what's this big, massive thing on top of it? You may ask. Well, it's a multi-tap, but it's also a switcher for SCARTs. Uh, I haven't got that part of it to work yet, but uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, but it is massive. There's a DVD remote as well. It's kind of an all-in-one, strange little system where you. Uh, connect this into the front, of course for the multi-tap, but then it's also got something like this you stick in the back of the PS2 and that does something with the uh, the SCART switching, but I've not really worked how to do that quite yet. Uh, up here, N64, I've been playing a bit of Pokemon Stadium lately and uh, got my Pokemon Yellow in there so I can play that on the TV, just training up a level 50 team. Uh, it's my Dreamcast, I uh, also got this Dreamcast cover. Uh, yeah, this was this was cool. I like it, but it was very expensive. Unfortunately, they charged me extra uh, tax, shipping tax on on this and this other one here, which is for the uh, NES. I mean, great things, but by the time I pay the extra shipping uh, tax on top of the shipping and the price of the items, 
yeah, I'm not going to be ordering from there again. There's <laughs> uh, a wee, here's my mess of cables. This is currently how I uh, split everything. I don't use this yet, so I've got a scart box here uh, labelled up. But I only tend to switch out this one, so yeah. I, I know I'm. You'd think it'll be a mess, but yeah, it, it seems to work okay for me at the minute. Uh, obviously, in the future, I'll have a much better system for that sort of thing. Uh, here's a few Xbox games up there. Now, I've packed a lot of my Xbox games away purely because they were piled up on the floor in here and I couldn't really. Well, it was a bit of a mess. So, considering it's. I don't get to play on these games a lot when I don't live here, so I just put them away. There's my GameCube collection. Pretty much there's a few that are in Denmark. And then a few Wii games, and as I mentioned before, a lot of the Wii games are in that cupboard, or they're empty boxed in that cupboard, well, and they're in um, uh, a disc wallet in uh, Denmark. So down here, uh, there's Mad Dog McCree for CDI in box with a light gun. Here's some recent acquisitions of mine. Uh, FIFA Street 2 is a really fun game, very affordable, obviously being a sports game. Poker Park 2 is really impressive, actually. Uh, wasn't sure what to expect from that game, but it's great. You play as a Pokemon, an island full of Pokemon, uh, playing little games and such. It's a kid's game, but it's uh, really, really well made and really enjoyable. Silent Hill Shattered Memories, Digimon, Rumble Arena 2. Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance and Mark Echoes getting up for the Xbox for all games that you know I picked up reasonably recently and um, you know in the process of playing. Now down here is my copy of Star Fox Assault which I picked up recently and yeah it does come out. <laughs> this is the uh, US copy of the game uh, purely because the European copies PAL copies are going for stupid money nowadays and this is the cheapest way to get one. 35 quid still, you know. Uh, so not still not cheap, but for that and price, the free load of discs to play was also included, so can't grumble at that. It's quite an interesting game that. It's it's got a slight underwhelming feeling about it. But it's it's got enough interesting uh, elements to you know keep you interested for sure. Uh, FIFA World Cup 98, just shouting out all the FIFA games here, this is a great football game for PS1, if you want a football game for PS1, I've got a thing of getting uh, different games for every system, so like making sure I've got a football game on the Playstation, on the Xbox, and the PS2, etc, and same with other sports games, so just have something to play on every system, a few odds and sods up here, a few Game Boys and such, batteries for the Saturn, when the Saturn's uh, internal battery runs out, so I'll have to keep resetting the clock. PS1 games, most of them are in the box, actually probably most of these are in Denmark, but there's the the boxes with my PS1 games, there's a few Vita cases down there, uh, there's a Mega Drive with a Mega CD and then my system adapter on the top. Uh, you've seen that, that's the NES. I've got that um, blinking light wind thing fitted in here, but it also means I have to take the games out using a pair of pliers, uh, wrapping a towel around the game and gripping it with a pair of pliers to pull it out because the connection's so tight on that thing. Uh, yeah, so PSP games going here. Full, another full draw. PSP games, DS games going here. Bits and pieces going in. Another copy of Sonic and Knuckles there, but I really wanted the proper box, so so I, I picked up another copy. This is a draw dedicated to N64, but at the minute there's a few things I'm playing. I've got to give this a go. This is Fatal Fury, Fatal Fury Wild Ambition for the PlayStation 1, Japanese copy. Uh, Alan Dury, or Ellen Dury. This is a one-on-one -on -one fighting game where you fly on dragons. Pretty cool. So you sit in the back of a dragon and fight one on one. Really good. Uh, so underneath you can see well, there's a few math system, loose math system games. N64 in there. Um, Super Nintendo, and that continues in here. You got a little Super Nintendo under there. Some NES games, I think. Yep, NES games underneath there. Just a, a daisy. Dropped a NES controller. 
back up here. And then the bottom drawer controls and stuff. I've uh, been collecting mice for various consoles. I need the CDI mouse to play Lemmings, but there's the PlayStation mouse, there's a Dreamcast mouse in there, Super Nintendo mouse, also this weird thing for PlayStation, the Necon for driving games. I'm really looking forward to giving that a try. It's such a unique controller. Uh, put that in there. And underneath here, all VHSs and uh, boxes. I had to clear out of these boxes recently, but there's still a lot of boxes down here that I've kept hold of. Uh, rock band things, I have nowhere else to put them. Controllers, mm, various consoles, more controllers. Uh, this is where underneath these batteries and these things, it's Game Gear games and uh, I think this is uh, Game Boy Color, just various handheld cartridges in here. So it's all a bit of a, a bit of a mess, to be honest. One day I'll have a proper games room and I'll certainly uh, share that, but for now, this is it. My games room, games corner, and until next time we meet, uh, that that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed a uh, quick tour around uh, the games room. Uh, it's what it's like at the moment, subject to change of course, but uh, 